This drama is real, this is not fake, this is no longer YouTube, this is real life. Drama Alert came up with another video, it's called Austin McBroom Arrested or will Cole Kerrigan be? Drama alert, lawyer interview, new info. So it seems like he's got new information and I wanna know what the hell it is. And there seems to be an attorney interview. So we're gonna see what he has to say or she has to say. And we're gonna watch it together. So let's go ahead and get this started. Oh, of course, baby mama. Yes. Yes, I'm filming, my love. <laughs> you always seem to call at the right time. You look good. Oh, well, you know. <laughs> you know. What are you trying to look good for? What the fuck? <laughs> well, aren't you one of my viewers? So I'm trying to look good for you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, baby. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to film real quick. <laughs> what? I'm going to film real quick. I'll call you after I'm done. Are you supposed to be working? I'm She's peeing, y'all. Y'all don't believe me? Look at her. Look at her. She's sitting on the toilet right now. <laughs> Alright, baby, I love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. I'm your host, Keller Keemstar. Let's go right into the news. <laughs> Will Cole Carrington. You know what's funny? I never used to see this channel. That last video of mine, that's the first time, um, that's my first time watching him. And I enjoy it. So let's go on. Go to jail. Will Austin McBroom go to jail, guys? This <laughs> is insane. Both of them claiming that the other one is going to jail. <laughs> oh We're going to have to wait to find out and guys i told you if you subscribe right here to drumler that we will give you all the information on this case the actual truth unlike some clowns out there but before we do this deep dive into the new information with the ace family in these allegations well whatever this video is i hope he's not biased because he's obviously against cole kerrigan right now because cole just threw him out there threw him under the bus so hopefully he's open-minded. So we'll, let's see, let's see what happens. First, a word from our sponsor. Now last time when I plugged privacy. Listen, I'm gonna mute this while he talks about his sponsor. Cause you know, I don't get sponsors. I don't qualify for sponsors. Okay, let's get into it. On Last Drum Alert, we told you that Cole Kerrigan uploaded a video titled The Truth About the Ace Family. And in this video, he claims two girls that were his friends went down to Miami, were hanging out with Austin McBroom from the Ace Family, uh, got onto a private boat, the guys got them super drunk, and then raped them. Austin and his friends, according to this video. However, we know Cole is a liar. Because, long story short, Cole told everybody in this video that the reason why he was making this video is because Drama Alert was paid $500,000 not to run the story. Complete lie. It's, it's not a lie. That's a true text message that he sent to Cole. Whether he decided not to show the whole text doesn't matter. That's on him. I'm sorry, Keemstar, but that's your fault. You, sh you should never be joking around with somebody that you don't even know personally. Your fault. I was not paid $500,000 to not run this story. I said if he told me that, I would have believed him. He didn't say anything else until four hours later. So, of course, I would have believed it. That to him sarcastically, he didn't respond, so I responded to him four hours later saying, <laughs> Cole, I'm being sarcastic. However, in his video, if you look closely, basically he went to go send me a message and hit enter, 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 so it would hide my reply that I was being sarcastic. You dishonest rat! Now, as I said in the last video, that the two girls involved are Amanda and Leslie, these two ladies right here, 
And Leslie came forward with a statement saying this. To speak of the video that Cole Kerrigan posted, some of you have already figured out that I am the other girl they are talking about in the video, and I feel like this video was made for the wrong reasons, and this wasn't Cole's story to tell. Cole even texted me saying we could potentially get paid $100,000 from this following the claim that Trombler was paid off 500k. So obviously, the whole reason for Cole doing this was to make money. Which is and wrong. Leslie went on to say that Austin wasn't even the one involved, didn't rape anyone at all. Okay, now that everyone is recapped, this is the new information. Okay. Austin responded. Austin put out a tweet saying, I hope you really understand what's going on here. If you have not heard, I've recently been a victim of extortion, defamation, and slander. I knew that this was a cold world, but never did I foresee something this disturbing upon me. Thank you to all the Ace Family members for all your concerns, and thank you to those who know my character and heart. I don't wish this upon anyone, and I can only hope that those responsible for this learn from their mistakes and become better people. My family and I are dealing with this matter privately and will be taking legal action. Bullying, extortion, slander, and defamation of my character is something I will not stand for, and I can promise that justice will be served. And then Austin also tweeted the screenshots of the text conversation between Leslie and Cole is literally texting saying that he thinks he can get $100,000 from Austin from running the story or from not running the story. Basically blackmailing them. Wow, so Austin, me. If you see my other video, you already know how I feel about this text message. Obviously, Cole had different intentions. He wanted to make money off of this story. Now, we keep in mind that something still did happen and nothing in that message did that did leslie say that that rape did not happen so something occurred in there and i do believe it was rape now cole wanted to make money off of it which is so sad that's not a friend means business and is going after cole but austin came out with another statement saying this legal we have sought out the top legal advice and have hired former senior prosecutor Blank, who is the ex-deputy district attorney and will now be handling everything from here on out regarding this matter. We are confident that Mr. Blank will seek the truth in this matter and hold those accountable for extortion. Okay, let me tell you something about this right now. I'm seeing this for the first time and I don't like what he's doing. He, for some reason, he has to go ahead and say who he hired, a former senior prosecutor. Basically saying his credentials. He's an ex-deputy district attorney. He's one of the top legal advice attorneys, right? Why say all that in that sentence? That's his way of trying to get fear out of Cole or whoever he is suing, whoever he's trying to sue. He's threatening to sue them with the most top attorney in the planet, right? So that would scare anybody. And that's his attempt in this. That's, that's how I feel. Um, you could be in jail? Like, this is a crime? Extortion? Also, I want to point out that I didn't block the attorney's names out. Austin did that himself. Not sure why. But regardless, do you think Cole will go to jail for extortion? No. I don't know. But Cole is fighting back. He responded on Twitter saying this. I am not getting sued for extortion, but Austin McBroom and his team will be arrested for sexual assault. My intentions were wrong in the beginning. Time out! Time out! Your intentions were wrong in the beginning. So thank God you are finally admitting that, like, basically you did all this for money. You used your good friend's rape story to make money. And on top of it... Kim, we all know that already. We already know what his intentions were, but he didn't follow through regardless. You have lied about so much stuff, Cole. You have messed up this whole thing, and probably the people responsible, if something bad did happen, won't be held responsible because of how you handled the situation, you lying joke. But anyhow, Cole said, my intentions were wrong in the beginning, but I realized what was more important, and that's why my video was uploaded with factual evidence. 
no amount of money was ever involved. Okay, Cole, you said your video was uploaded with factual evidence, but you deliberately lied about me getting $500,000. See, Kim, this is, this is my whole point. This is my whole point. He's being biased right now. He's talking about himself. <laughs> Kim Star is talking about himself and trying to defend his character. Kim, ain't nobody else talking about you no more. Let's get to the to the core of all this, okay? We're trying to see if the rape occurred, who are the parties involved, when, where, everything. That's what we're trying to get to. And if Austin is suing anybody, we want to know who the hell he's suing and if this shit is true. I don't know, but Kim, let's stop talking about you. Not to run this story. I know that for a fact because I was involved. I didn't get paid. Like <laughs> nobody can trust the thing you say. But anyhow, Cole goes on to say this: If Austin was really a victim of extortion, why post three statements about how you're getting your lawyers involved? If you were really a victim, there would be no case to fight. He's scared because I post facts. Okay, good point. But you also post good point. lies. We know that a hundred percent. That. Stop talking, about, stop talking about Cole, man. That you are a liar. Cole went on to say this. Here's the rest of the conversation. He posted that was left out. The police are involved. Here's the rest of the conversation. He posted that was left out. The police are involved. And I will not be speaking about this anymore. Wow. Okay, so now the police are involved. They're investigating this. And potentially, if Austin McBroom is found guilty, he will be held responsible. By the way, I want to put this out there. When it comes to court, you have to show evidence. You have to have it in order to, in order to prosecute someone. If the evidence isn't there, they're not going to execute. Does not mean it did not occur. Do you know how many rape victims go ahead and try to follow through with a case and nothing ever happens? It's sad. It's sad, but that's how the world works. That's how the legal system works. This is months later. And if there's no evidence months later, it's kind of hard to do that. So who's going to jail? Austin or Cole? Someone's going to jail. And it's really <laughs> strange because the rest of the conversation that huh. Cole posts is basically him talking to Leslie and Amanda, who are the rape victims, where he tells Leslie, the rape victim, that she's being bratty. Okay, I'm not going to go off of Kim's opinion, but listen, let's go ahead and read this. The rest I knew about, I didn't know one, or I didn't know 10,000% what was being said or how it's going to be worded, but I knew Cole was going to put out a tweet about the same situation. This like isn't the, the time or place to argue about this. We're all three supposed to be coming together, bring light to the situation, justice for you two and for all the other girls that happened too. Not to start or cause another, another fight. Leslie, I don't know why you keep bringing the same things up or seem so frustrated, but I am just trying to help you guys. I'm getting absolutely nothing out of this besides millions of hate comments when I post this. Leslie, I was only going to maybe get paid off to not post a video, but I'm realizing that that's not important and also not going to happen. So I'd rather just post a video. If I make anything from it, it won't be much. And I already told Amanda I would split it with you guys because that's not the priority of this. I want you to be comfortable and okay with everything. But I also don't need a bratty attitude and any negativity coming from you because I'm literally just trying to help. Okay, Cole. Calm the fuck down. Did you really just call her bratty? Bratty attitude. Are you serious right now? You guys are talking about rape. And you're speaking to a rape victim, allegedly. And you're calling, you're saying that she has a bratty attitude? Boy, if you don't. Listen, I didn't know Cole before this. But everything that's coming out, the way he presents himself, I don't go off of what other people think. The way he's presenting himself is in a horrible light. All he thinks about is himself. He's very selfish, seems to be narcissistic. So he's just a horrible person regardless. Besides that, I need to know what the hell is going on if this rape really happened and who did it. I think a rape happened. But they need to get Cole out of this situation because he has nothing to do with all this. He just wants fame and fortune. For not going along with his story. <clears throat> Leslie, Amanda, can I ask you a, a, a question? 
Why are you friends with him? That's what I said. Why are you? He sold out your story Straight for up. money. Straight for up. For money. A hundred percent. He literally used his own friend's rape story for clout and money. One hundred percent. proven. Why are you friends with him? Anyhow, I firmly believe that Cole has messed up this whole criminal case. And that's why I wanted to get a legal opinion. I think so too, because Cole, what could have happened behind closed doors with a police investigation, Cole seemed to have messed it up. He put evidence out there in the public eye to where the defense attorneys can use that against them. So for him to put all that stuff out there, uh, it might have messed up the case. From a legal defense attorney in my area, known as Ann Nicole's. We're gonna get her on the phone right now and see what she has to say about this situation. Hi Ann, I just want to get you on the phone real quick. This is uh, Keemstar with Drama Alert. With your opinion on this case, um, what do you think? <laughs> Did you notice that Keemstar calmed his voice down? He's being professional right now, so let's pay attention. Yeah, agree. Do you think this will work against like the criminal case? Like, um, will will the defense attorney use this, and uh, will it be part of their defense now? Of course, as a defense attorney, that would be my number one yep. argument when the witness testifies. I would be portraying all of these um, allegations of extortion to discredit the witness's story. And it's so sad. It as though they are only out to get money and not tell their side of the story. Well, that's exactly what I've been saying, and I just wanted to get an attorney on here that, you know, has experience in this to just, you know... That is so sad. So thank you so much, Anne, for uh, coming on, and do you have any, like, advice for either side of the, uh, of the case? Uh, absolutely. I would just say that everyone should be telling the truth and that no one should ever be trying to profit off of another's misfortune and victimization. Thank you, Ann. So there you have it right there from a defense attorney who has, you know, done rape cases before. Now, obviously, if we could go back to Cole again one more time, uh, this story has blown up. A lot of YouTubers have made a lot of videos with their opinions and their thoughts covering the story. And just to prove that Cole is after money, he started copyright claiming and stealing the money from smaller YouTubers. Many small YouTubers are starting to get copyright claims from Bent Pixels representing Cole Kerrigan. But listen, if- My videos have not been copyrighted. Just to put that out there. If we could just get a timeout, at the very beginning of this, I wanted to make a story about Austin cheating. Because I believe he's a cheater, 100%. <laughs> yeah. I believe that he hooks up with other girls all the time. In fact, I think so recently, too. Danielle Victor came out with a video titled, I Witnessed Austin McBroom Cheat Twice, Ass, fa Ass Family. Ace Family <laughs> is falling apart. And in her video, she explains that she's been in the club multiple times and she saw Austin with other girls. And like, dude, she's not the only one. Like, every person in LA has told me that Austin hooks up with other girls. He's in a fact, cheater. Just recently, on September 21st at Horror Nights, Austin McBroom was with another girl holding her waist. Like this, this was all see. caught on video. So if I could for a minute, this is my theory on what's going on. The Ace family is fake. It is for your entertainment. They are not really the, the happy cup. This whole Ace family thing is just for entertainment. But really behind the scenes, Austin is with other girls. Maybe Catherine's with other guys. Maybe they're in an open relationship. Maybe. But That's possible. what you see on YouTube is not reality. Oh. Listen, they're a real family. They didn't just have kids to be the most popular YouTubers in this planet, right? That's not the case. I'm sure they're in love, but we don't know what kind of relationship they have. They might be an open relationship and Catherine might possibly know what's been going on this whole time. But they're presenting it to the audience as if they're a happy go lucky family perfect role models because that's how they profit their money that's their business their business goes off of them being a family but come on now no family is perfect no couple is perfect every couple every relationship 
has different agreements and an open relationship could be that. And if it's not the case and Catherine never knew that he was cheating, girl, you know now. Stop playing. There's too much evidence out there that he's been cheating. And you're staying for the money, for the fame, for the lifestyle. What kind of shit is that? What kind of role model is that to little girls? Austin definitely is hooking up with other girls. Now, when it comes to these rape allegations in Miami, I think that somebody around Austin, one of his friends, somebody on his team, something happened mm -hmm. and they took advantage of these girls and a crime was probably committed. That's, that's what I that's what I think. I truly believe that these girls were truly highly intoxicated. Men taking full advantage of them is rape. Because whether you would like to see that or not, it's a fact. If you are if you have been drinking but you're still clearly thinking straight, but the woman is not, she's obviously out of it, can't protect herself, can't defend herself, is telling you no, but you still, you still manage to have sex with her. That's not sex, that's rape. My theory, I think that's true, I think that happened, but I don't think that it was Austin. In fact, privately when I was talking to one of these girls, she told me, Leslie straight up told me, Austin stopped it. So I do believe something. No, come on, come on, come on. Austin stopped it. No, listen, that bed sheets, those bed sheets had blood on it. That guy, whoever raped her or whoever, however many people raped her, they entered more than once. You can't just enter once and create that much blood splatter on the bed. It happened, it happened a little bit longer than just that one second of going in. Okay, and if Austin did stop it, it took him a while to do so. So that kind of pissed me off right now. That pissed me off right now. So Austin, it took you that long to stop a situation? And not only that, but you didn't call the authorities? You just witnessed a rape and you didn't call the cops? You are just as guilty. You are just as guilty if that was the case. Boy. It happened. I do believe there was a crime, but I don't believe it was actually Austin. But we're going to have to wait to find out. I told you guys every detail of this story will give you the truth. I understand that there's a mob out there that wants to see the Ace family go down. I understand. I get it. Like, I see people say that Austin is a serial rapist based on what no, proof. What is no, the proof of that? But the angry so. mob that's out there is going to have to calm down. You're going to have to take a seat because <laughs> over here on Drumler, we're only going to deal with the facts. So right. if you are new here, I agree. if you want every single detail on this story, make sure you subscribe with those notifications on because as soon as I get the scoop, I'm going to keep you in the loop. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you slap a like on it. Uh, Code Keem G Fuel, I gotta plug it. It's 30% off right now. All right, I'm stopping it there. Listen, what the, the information that he just told us right now about Leslie, about one of the girls speaking to him and letting him know that Austin was the one that stopped it. So Austin knew it went down and didn't do shit afterwards, didn't call the cops, didn't stop it quick enough before he even entered her. That pissed me off. So if Austin wasn't the rapist, he still pissed me off for not doing shit about it. You just witnessed the rape, allegedly. I have to say allegedly because it's for legal matters, but <laughs> I think something happened and Austin, boy, if you don't. And listen, I, I will say this, I am subscribed, I am still subscribed to the Ace family. Only until it comes out that this, this really did happen and Austin was in the room when it happened. I don't care if he was the one that did it or not, if he was in the room when it happened, I will be unsubscribing, 100%. And I will not be watching any of their videos. Let me know what you think. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please turn on your notifications so you can get notified every time I upload. And also, please subscribe to Bliss and Press. It's the channel that I have with my wife. Listen, I really wanna know your opinion. Comment below. I will see you in the next video. Peace.